I picked up a really cool book here. What we do in this series is I buy a book, I clean and press a book, I send it to CGC, we see what grade comes back, we do the unboxing, and then we decide whether we're going to sell it or not. If we do, how much potential profit or how much profit do we make? So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing open and see what we got. I was happy to see that it is a book that I never was able actually to own as a kid, although I did go to the first movie when I was four years old, first movie I ever went to, <laughs> in the drive-in theater. And this is the movie adaptation, number two of that movie, Star Wars. Pretty cool, huh? This is a fairly nice copy of this book from what it looked like online, but you never can tell until you get a book in. So let's go ahead and take a look closely under the lights with my reading glasses on so we can see for sure what we got here and kind of put a ballpark grade on it and kind of make a preliminary plan on how we're going to clean and press this book to get it ready for CGC. Well, let's get going. All right, the first thing you might notice when you see this book is this weird looking inky stuff on there. When you turn it over, you can see it here. What it is, is this book is laid against another book, probably for decades, <laughs> and the ink has transferred to this book. Now, I normally wouldn't buy a book that had that because it's such an uncertainty, and who knows what that does to the grade, but I thought it would be an interesting experiment to see if we can get that off of there, and how do we get that off of there? So I bought this specifically for that defect, um, because the book looks great otherwise. The corners are good, nice and sharp. There are ticks, but I can clean those up. And, you know, um, there's not a ton of color breaks into the book. There's some pretty heavy ticks, you know, right there on the staple. There's nothing we can do about that. But I still think this book, although it's probably a 7.5 right now, could possibly be a 9.0, 8.5, 9.0. I don't think it's out of the realm of the possibility. It was advertised as a 9.0 or 9.2. Obviously, I kind of could I knew when I bought it it wasn't going to be that. But I did get a good price on it. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and we'll, that's the goal on this one is to get that off of there and clean this book up and turn it into possibly a very fine or near mint minus book. So I'm going to go ahead and first step is I think what we'll do is go ahead and do just a preliminary cleaning, see if maybe a eraser will get some of this stuff off. Maybe an absorbing pad will get some of it off as well. But, you know, I got to hesitate to do too much on here because you will take color off a book. Otherwise, I mean, we might just have to live with it and submit it. So, excited to get started with this one. Let's go ahead and get started with the cleaning process. So the book is back from CGC. And once again, we were hoping to get as high as a 7.0. But the thing is, with this one, with this ink on there, I just... You know, it's hard to say how CGC will treat this because I'm giving this, I think, a 7.0. I think that's what I said. A 7.0 on this with that on there. I took it into account. Now, it's possible CGC won't take that into account. If not, I mean, this book looks as good as, like, it could even be an 8.5 or an 8.0 um, without it. Now, I already know the grade on this book because I've already done it in an unboxing. I already revealed that. Um, but, yeah, so I let's see together what CGC does and what they think about the ink transfer on this book. They gave it an 8.5. So apparently, they don't care as much about that as I do, so I guess they're not harsh at all on, on that kind of stuff. So when I had originally showed, if you've seen that unboxing, I was looking at the wrong book when I revealed this. I actually had on my notes for the other Star Wars 2 that I would get an 8.5. Well, yeah. I was looking at the wrong note. I actually thought this was a 7.0, so I got it wrong on that unboxing. Sorry about that. But just in case you noticed that. Um, but yeah, very happy to have this at an 8.5. I did not expect that at all. That's just way above. I mean, to get this in is what I thought was a 6.0, and it ended up being an 8.5. That's, yeah, <laughs> very happy about that. So another successful uh, clean and press. Although we didn't have to do much on this one as far as clean goes because there wasn't anything we could do about it. I'm glad I did not mess with trying to get that black off of there because that would be a tragedy if I actually damaged this book. So that's a good lesson for us. I mean, if you can't get it off and you're not sure, just leave it alone because it's not going to hurt the grade as much as you might think it would, right? So stay nerdy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.